It's been two years since Bemidji State men's hockey has been able to advance to the conference semifinals and three years since the team had swept the quarterfinal round to do so. But after a 5-4 overtime win on Friday night, the Beavers beat Ferris State on Saturday in Game 2 of the Mason Cup quarterfinal, avoiding a winner-take-all Game 3 on Sunday. Here's how it all went down from the Sanford Center. Bemidji State was riding a nine-game unbeaten streak into the game, three of those against Ferris State. We pick up in the second period, tied at zero. Carter Jones... His sixth goal of the season puts the Beavs on the board, and it's 1-0 later. BSU on a power play. Kyle Loaf to Eric Polkamp to the back of the net. The Beavers, they take a 2-0 lead. Now, if this next highlight looks like a replay, I assure you it's not, but the result is the same. Polkamp with his third goal in two games. BSU up 3-0. On to the third. Jake McLean one-times it from close range off the feed from Dante Lawson. His fifth of the season makes it 4 nothing, and that would be the final. As Bemidji State ousts Ferris State, Beavers' Mateus Scholl, well, his net was closed for business. He had 25 saves and earned his third shutout of the season, second in three games. Here's what the Beavs had to say about it after the game. You want to give your goalie a shutout, and our guys take a lot of pride in that. And uh, with a four-goal lead, sometimes it's easy to kind of let your foot off the gas a little bit with five, six minutes to go, and our guys did it. A lot of that's just playing the right way, but also they're playing for their goaltender. Yeah, I mean, you never obviously say a shut up, right, in the locker room. You never say it. So, I mean, Schultz, that means so much to Schultze, um and those goalies and for us decor too. Um, never giving up a goal. So um, that was nice for him. The last night was a little bit, a little bit tough. And for, for myself, I didn't really uh, like the way I played, but went over video and learned a few things from our goalie coach and just got back in there. So I felt really good to get the shut up, but the boys played great. Bemidji State will now host Lake Superior State in the semifinal round. The Lakers upset St. Thomas in three games in their quarterfinal matchup over the weekend. Beavers were only one and three against them during the regular season, though. Also, the all CCHA first team selections were announced. Kyle Loaf, Eric Polkamp, Leighton Road, and Matthias Scholl all getting nods. That's what happens when you finish in first place and win the Mason Cup. You get the most in program history on that all-team selection, Eric Polkamp also making the All-CCHA rookie team. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.